This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hey, bitch. What is your whole deal? Hey, bitch. Just tell us how you feel. You wished for a sign from above. Well, here's a podcast about boy sex, fucking, dating, and love. Seek treatment. If you're boring as fun, seek treatment. If you're unlucky in love, seek treatment. If you just can't take It's Kitty Cat Cappuccino. It's Pat Cappuccino. And this, this is, is Seek Treatment, Treatment, a podcast, podcast about, about boys, sex, sex fucking, fucking dating, dating and love. love. This is one of the most overdue things that's ever happened in my I life. I've, never, I've actually, I'm actually starstruck to my core. We're being kicked out of our local library because our books are so overdue. Yeah, our, bo- <laughs> our books are overdue because we were finally having the Miss Kate Berlant on the podcast. Oh my God. Thank you for what having me. What the hell me. is up? I just got a triggering memory of like, oh, uh, I, just oh. Got, I just got like a hard memory of like, um, when we were, um, when I was little, we went to the movie Mastermind from like a blockbuster knockoff called American Video. And it was about like a, a teenage, it was about hackers that were trying to do terrorism to a school. But mm-hmm. then like one of the high schoolers was actually a hacker in and of himself. And so he was hacking against them. But anyways, we never returned it. And it was in my closet. Ooh, and I just wow. would like see it. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is so bad. Like we still have Mastermind. Those are real. That, the psychic weight of those. It, that, yeah. Well, I mean, I haven't had my, I, I'm due for a smog check. What do you mean? Like for my car. What do you mean? And I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. I don't know about that either. And, <laughs> I, and I have the thing. You have to get it tr- once a year. What are they really? So you have to get a car. You have to go in once a year and get a fucking smog check. It sounds like I'm, but here's what I'm saying. This, the segue is yeah. the un, having the video, it's like a debt you haven't paid totally. or something. And it's like, and it's like my smog check thing. I look at it every day. And you know what I'm having? Is the, light, the lights on is what you're saying? No. So it's a piece of paper that came in the mail. Scary. Wait, they say mail. They're still something. doing mail, and they go, "You need your spot checked." And what? I go, "What? That no, that can't oh, so be." Wait, I've let never me turn off my. And the older we get, guess how uh, once a year starts to feel pretty often, doesn't it, girls? I know, doesn't it, girls? Well, here's what I was gonna once say: once a year is it once a month. <laughs> once a year is every day. Years are months. <laughs> your days are hours. <laughs> well, I have I'm, to tell you something. Okay. I have to tell you something so important. I was cleaning out. You're gonna freak. You're gonna freak out. I'm cleaning out my apartment. Guess what I find in my keepsake box? I know what you're gonna say. Really? We'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> from me being a, a Caberland fan from day dot, I have a wristband. You knew. Embrace terror. That's so sweet. What no, is it? I only know because you once told me that you had one. Oh, I, I couldn't believe you that. that. Okay, okay. It was my you like, yeah. I only know this because you always fucking no, say no, it. No, but, but, <laughs> it's, it's, obsessed with but it's incredibly <laughs> sweet. This is my, my original merch. Haven't done merch since, really, until It's now. really good <laughs> merch. Again, for my Wait, show. Please, please yeah, show please get to that. But, um... Um, yeah, I had like Livestrong bracelets. They're so oh, good. You know, and they, yeah, I'll never get rid. As someone who was like a track runner, like, sure. When Livestrong bracelets were real, like, they were huge for me and it really made me feel something. Did they raise money for cancer? They did, but they also supported, you know, a drug cheat. I know. It's so intense with that. I, uh, I know. That's okay. I know. <laughs> Let them have it. I'm it's a ridiculous. Bit. I know. Yeah, <laughs> a little it's bit. ridiculous. Okay, how are you today? Okay, well, uh, I'm, this is actually great because I'm a little bit. Maybe you sense it. There's. I came in a little. Yeah. One of the, it's one of those days. First of all, it's it's the most cold in LA it's ever been. This is know, sub zero temperatures but, in Chicago. But you kind of like yeah. it. Do you kind yeah, of like it? Me too. I do. But I was running around. I went to go get breakfast. It just was one of. The, left the house hungry. You you left the house hungry. Yeah. Never. But I woke up 7:30 a.m. Going, am I awake? Juicing celery juice. Wait, what? I made celery at seven a.m. at seven forty-five, seven fifty. I don't. I can't support that. Okay, so I've I have always went. Who are these sick fucks? Yeah, what is it doing? I'm doing an experiment. Is it a New Year's thing? Not even. Okay, it just weirdly <laughs> like <don't forget. laughs> it really seems like it. Anyway, do the celery juice. Next thing I know, let's do ginger. Let's do turmeric. It's, it's out do, of control. Let's do lemons. Wait. I'm juicing, juicing, juicing. Drank all this juice. It filled me up, but it didn't fill me up. I thought I was full, but I wasn't. And then the hunger set in. I had to get an emergency well, yeah, scramble. Never fill you. <laughs> emergency <laughs> scramble. From there, from there. I had to make into the oaks. <laughs> I had to get emergency. I called ahead. Do you still have eggs? Yes. From where? The oaks. Oh, where? I don't in, know. And on uh, Franklin and Bronson. The thing about the Hollywood spot. Got the scramble. Okay. Moaning in the car. It was great. <laughs> Drove to you? Squirrel to get another breakfast item. Got the coffee. Love Squirrel so much. Where do you park? Because it's it so was an off day. Um. I'm so scared. Okay, so this going, is a new, another LA thing. Okay. I believe that you will always find parking. Well, do you know what someone okay. told me? <laughs> but I can't it's parallel just, park. 
Do you know what someone I okay, that's I just got, yeah. got in last night and I'm struggling. Okay, Do you know yeah. what someone who I know knows does? What? Someone what who I know knows does something where they'll park wherever they want, even if it's illegal. Me too. And just be like, if I get a ticket, cost of doing business. Okay, so this is, by the way, maybe absolutely. So I do, do you know someone I know? So, <laughs> <laughs> do you know someone I know? I know? Well, this is something with the, I heard that the late great Harris Whittles called. Oh. Um, I think he referred to it as like. Like parking club, LA parking club. Mm. What, what what would you pay once you were to park anywhere you wanted in Los Angeles? Oh, interesting. That is your fee. So whenever you get, because so, I also love parking in the red. Mm -hmm. People go, oh, it's a house party. Good luck. You better lift. I'm not lifting to your home. I know. Mm -hmm. I'll park in the red. I'll park in front of a hydrant. If uh -oh. there's a fire, they have the technology to move the car. <laughs> but, I'm not worried. But do you know what I'm doing after this is I'm Ubering to the doctor because for some reason going to the doctor, it's like, I just don't want to drive there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Well, by the way, I can't, I get very lost with build. I need to give myself like 25 minutes to get in because buildings are, I think it's impossible to go anywhere almost I know. always. Yeah. And oh, it's, it's for the address is 4264 San Monica Boulevard. Park in the, I know. Park yeah. where? I know. I know. <laughs> you go under. They were, she was, so wait, she what was telling me like as though I, there was this like secret thing. She was like, and because you're coming at 2 30, I'm going to want you to, you're going to have to park in one of the parking structures next to us. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's no. just like to be like, to be like, I have a special, a special secret tip for you park in the parking structure. I'm like, well, where else would I park? You know what I mean? She almost made me more scared. Wait, to circle back, what happened at Squirrel? Okay, thank you so much. And I have something else I wanted to, because I, I was wanting to ask you how cheap you think I am. Because I, because I, oh, and cool. I, I feel, I feel, I feel, <laughs> I feel like, mean? I feel like it's a beloved thing. Like people close to me will be like, like Jacqueline Novak will always be like, you're so fucking cheap. Like, really? <laughs> okay, Are you? Here's my Even question. like you having products to me, that's like the opposite. You, of you, because I'm not. No, you it, scream it, luxury it, to it, me. Thank you so much. And that's what I, and I do yeah. have a very luxurious life. Yeah. And I spare no expense. But I think, okay, so for example, do you think this is cheap? As I just remember this, your parking story brought yes, up this. Yes. I recently went Don't to. Don't ever do, point at me again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I recently went to go do, um, small voiceover job. Okay. Nothing yeah. to brag Are about. you serious? Yeah. I'm really small. Yeah. And, you know, but listen, the point is, Park in the structure, $20, cost $20. On the way out, they go, don't worry, we're going to Venmo you $20. Who? Exactly, like, like, like the studio. Okay. What? They never Venmoed me the $20. Yeah, what, Fox? Do I follow Searchlight up? Searchlight is And is it oh. cheap to follow up? Do you know what I mean? Searchlight is It's not is cheap, but it's you? too much work. You don't Wait, have time. But I just think $20, like, because I go, That's a lot. But I go, well, I want my 20 I know. I have a squirrel habit. I, I know. know. I, I don't. I yeah. feel for me parking. Like I don't know why. Like I guess like in New York, you're all always Uber and whatever. And I'm like, if you do pay thirteen, like or twenty dollars to park, like I don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't care enough. Yeah, that's probably why I'm gonna end up broke. No, <sighs> no one in this room. No, no I'm convinced no, no. I looked bad with money in front of someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's a little chilly in here. No, I'm fine. I'm doing this, but I'm actually for I dramatic feel fine. Yeah, and, I'm yeah. doing, and I'm doing this with my arms like a. I'm doing this to kind of thing. cinch the waist and kind of because yeah. I hate my shirt well, so I was, much. Yesterday, yeah. I was this, this. Can you imagine being on camera like this every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> open. Puss. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Across my legs a lot. Let me ask you this. Oh, I've never been to Squirrel. What's going on over there? People talk about it all the time. I've never been. What's yeah. Going on? Well, Squirrel, and I'm happy to go on air. It's just yeah. it's, <laughs> it's fantastic and it's undeniable and it's consistent and people go. Oh, what, what, and I, 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 you know, there was the big stuff, jam, yeah, wasn't jam there like gate. A, wasn't there was there mold like, on the there jam. There was mold on the jam. Yeah. Pink eye care. <laughs> if, you eat, if you eat at restaurants, if you eat at restaurants, you're eating moldy you jam. are ingesting caca, pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> like, wake up. What are you talking about? Restaurants are, yeah. I mean, it's like, but what then, do you want? So is it for you and for you, Kate, is it about like the coffee or is it about the no, food? No, the culture. It's about the food. Yeah, it's about really. the, it's about the What F did you eat from there? So today was weird. I had the emergency scramble on the way. Sure. So I was not really hungry. I got the coffee, but I did get the vegan, although I'm not vegan. I got the <laughs> I got the coconut tapioca. Oh, interesting. But couldn't finish dessert. it. Morning yeah, I wanted dessert. like a sweet thing. I love that. Wait, yeah. Do you know about Oikos? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the yogurt? Yeah. But I feel like that's yeah. not... So, but I feel like you're kind of... I'm more of a see, Coco I, June girl. Uh, yeah, um, it's not really your... It's more of his culture. Coco June, like... I don't just, know who it, she It doesn't have any protein in it. Yeah, and you were gonna go. I thought you were yeah. either gonna attack it for sugar or lack of protein. I don't so, care necessarily about sugar, like if it's bringing me else something to the table. Yeah, but don't just take. No, no, it's like I guess you're right. It's probably like six grams of protein. It's low. Yeah, it's pretty. It's honestly. Okay. Do you know what I'm gonna say? If even. 
Oh, no, we've got six in there. I don't. I don't know that you have six know. in there. There's gotta be six. Can someone look up how much protein is in a, th- a serving of cocoa juice? Pack the mainframe, girls. Because it's coconut. <laughs> yeah, it's cocoa. It's cocoa juice. <laughs> okay, so I don't so know. So here's my here's my pet peeve. Juice. When something is called cocoa something, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a chocolate experience. And he's oh. a chocolate. And I'm a, I'm a chocolate too. Are you a chocolate? I love chocolate. But do you like dark chocolate? Oh yeah, we've talked about chocolate. I think have we? Yeah, um, I can't. You stomach, were talking. I can't stomach the stuff. Chocolate, <laughs> dark. I think it's oh. like the best thing in the world. I like world. dark. Yeah, I'm full Nestle bar. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, no, you know what's the best chocolate of all times? Okay, here's the thing. I was staying in a sublet for August. Um, we're listening. Someone <laughs> who like I know but not well. A chocolate factory. And, and, <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah, and um, and like you know, and there was this chocolate river. No, but like there was. Do you know how? Two Brams. Oh, Kate. Kate. Thank Coco God. June. Thank God you came here today. Coco June. <laughs> I know. And I'll be clear. Coco June for me isn't daily. That's not to me. That's not food. That's like totally. A snack. It's like a little thing. Yeah. That's for fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's a toy. A yeah, play yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a yo-yo. <laughs> yeah. Love um, it and leave it. It's a bop it. Um. <laughs> so. Okay, so like they had, you know, in Trader Joe's, like there's those like incredible chocolate bars that are like humongous and they're yellow. Oh yeah, what are they called? I don't. They're vegan. Are they? Yeah. Wow. They're so and good. Why? But there was like a huge one and it was opened. And you know, I don't know, like I'm subletting I'm for a month. So like I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I'm kind of hungry. I'm wanting a snack. Mm-hmm. But I'm like. Oh, is it Trader Joe's brand? I didn't know at the time. Okay. But I think. So I've only seen it at Trader Joe's. But it says like imported from Germany. It says on it. So I end up having like just a small piece of it. But then I eat literally the whole thing. And yeah. I'm freaking out like, oh my God, when these people get back, I'm going to have to like find this imported German chocolate and yeah. I was freaking out <laughs> and then I saw it like it's just like Trader Joe's like branded chocolate yeah and it's so good though well it's fun to eat a huge bar it makes you feel like a little mouse it literally yeah. makes you feel like, <laughs> like in, yeah. it makes you feel like you're in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory cinematic yeah. universe yeah big bar yeah yeah there's nothing like that scene when they're all clamoring at the counter when there's one last golden ticket oh I read the book so it's like, wow <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. 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 it's a child um Okay, so you had your squirrel, and then we were kind of getting into off air. <laughs> we we're getting into what's in your bag. Oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah. What's no, happening? You're, you're like, earn it, I like, came in here because sometimes when, when Goop, I mean, um, when Poop Careful. came out, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I call it Goop all the time, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was kind of. I wasn't sure if it was like. You you earnestly enjoy products. Yeah. Yeah. Deeply. Yeah. 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 You know, this was a thing where people when, when we were starting the pod, it was like, oh, you're gonna be debunking wellness myths. No, we're not losers. Yeah. We're engaging. Oh, yeah. oh, it's fake. We know. <laughs> Placebo works. I don't know if you have yeah. paid attention Red to the research. Article. Yeah, so it's like, we're not debunking. We're just enjoying. And um... <laughs> Let me, can I say three words to you? <laughs> yeah. Jurgen's natural glow. <laughs> Highly toxic. Are you serious? I'm, I think. I, Look at his hands. I cover myself in it. Look at my friend's morning. hands. Look at this. Oh, wait. People love... You know what's funny? I I noticed a little tint and I thought, yeah. turmeric? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's J-I-G. I, it's jig. I don't do... I don't do fully only a clean beauty, of course. We can't, but try to do it clean on the lips. And lotion is something you kind of want to go clean because, you know, we all know skin, largest organ on the body, whatever. It yeah. just sucks it up. Yeah. Sure. So I try to go... Um, but I also poison on the face. I'm yeah. willing to ask you what kind of shampoo I should use. So yeah. the best shampoo is gone. What? <laughs> the best shampoo is gone. <laughs> there was this Korean brand. I'm forgetting. It's called RMS. Uh-huh. It was the only shampoo that's ever made me go, excuse me? Really? Because I don't. Because I have so much hair that I use cheap conditioner. I'd be, yeah. I'd be spending. I don't mm-hmm. condition. I, I mean, I, I condition. Condi- I have to get a Costco. Pump. I'm in a hotel yeah. where you're just like pump, 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 pump. pump. Yeah. Pump. Every time there's a pump in a hotel, I feel respected. Yeah. yeah. And I also go. I need to bring my own travel cases to decant. Oh. You know, I'm addicted to cadence. Oh, I had a. Tough experience with Cadence. Oh, really? Too small? Leaking. They leak liquid. <laughs> okay, not, well, hello. But not gels. Not not creams. I also have an issue, and I hate to, I don't like to, ooh, I don't like this to d- um, disparage a brand, but. The Demi Lovato is on the jump out. It's a bacteria factory. What is? You want to decant, dipping the fingers into the stuff. If it's for the I face. Know. You don't want to dip in. That's why the jars. We need to completely get rid of jar. Beauty. I love the idea of the jar. Oh, beauty cream. Then what do you pump. use a device? No, if it's a jar, I'm going in with my hands. Pumps only, but pumps are hard to pumps but, are hard to but pack. But aren't you ultimately yeah, no matter yeah. what? Pumps are hard to pack. pack they are. Pickle peppers. Aren't there. you no matter what ultimately going with your hands? Yeah, but ideally your hands are you're not reintroducing new bacteria every time to the life culture. <laughs> 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 um, Save that for the cocoa. By the way, my bag is absolutely packed right now. Okay, let's see. To the I've brand. got two. Oh. One capless chaos. May I ask for a spritz? <laughs> yeah, please. What and is, let me ask okay. you this. Kate, do you feel, sometimes I feel unsafe if my bag doesn't zip. What do you think about that? So I, my mother. Thank you. My mother, my whole life, 
she's always been terrified that my purse doesn't zip. Mm -hmm. And she instilled in me very young age, your purse isn't zipping. She would even with her hand reach out. Look, look how easy that was. Wow. You know, she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pickpocket. And so I was always really scared of having a purse that did not zip. Uh -huh. And then I want to say about three years ago, I went, what if I tried? Uh -huh. yeah. I've never had an issue. And this is kind of, this is as big as a bag gets for me. This is my big really? going out all day bag kind of. Wow. A, and that's sort of a calf hair situation, which I adore. Pony. Uh -oh. Don't, oh. don't, don't wake daddy. It's pony <laughs> hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to love don't wake daddy. I thought that was the funniest fucking game in the world. Yeah. Don't know. Only it. my friend, but it's the kind of game that you don't have, but your friend has. Well, I realized too, it's really, cause <laughs> don't wake daddy. Those commercials are so burned in not totally. to get dip into nineties nostalgia. We're all smarter than that, but, <laughs> but, there's, <laughs> something, but there's something, in the don't wake daddy it's deeply yeah um, well just and, and the psychology the, of that and and, and look at me here yeah. just don't wake him up because he might need a blowjob <laughs> <laughs> the, the structure even like i think honestly like because there was a centerpiece of like this plastic father in a bed who would plastic like father a plastic father who would pop yeah, up yeah. and I, he was like i will say it not unattractive like i no, no, I, think no, I totally felt almost sexual around that he was the very normal the anglo kind yeah. of yeah and not, I guess, didn't look like my daddy i'll tell you that much i think <laughs> I had a bit of a sexual awakening to the plastic figurine and don't I think daddy. you're right. It is, yeah, and he's so upright. Yeah. Does he look like Flat Stanley? I don't know what Flat Stanley looks like. I don't know what God. daddy looks like. I have such a fun bag right now. It's okay, crazy. Go, uh, go ahead. Okay. Lipospheric vitamin C packet. Oh, I'm... does that work? So I used to do this religiously like four years every morning, empty stomach upon waking. Oh, that'll, that'll make you sick. <laughs> yeah. Makes no? me not sick. No, Mean but system. doesn't it, but does it doesn't unsettle it? your stomach? No. But Me does, with my wellness formula, absolutely puking every morning. Oof, oh, well, honey, the vitamins? Yeah. You can't do an empty stomach. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that'll make this you is puke. No, this won't make you puke. Where you do you get that? Uh, Air on the internet. I'm scared of what I'm going to buy after I go really through the bag. But? I feel like it doesn't really work. I feel like it does. Okay, but I believe you. I just think that there's stuff with immunity, uh, but I'm You know what I'm hard. addicted to? What? I actually have a clinical addiction and I have seen it. I'm addicted to zinc tablets. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Zycam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that I got a... um? Upper respiratory infection at the Eros concert. <laughs> You're I kidding. Was me lighting zinc at the Eros concert. On the way out, we were in Las Vegas. I looked to the person I was with and said, I can't believe how cold it is in Las Vegas. It's like 30 degrees. He goes, I'm really hot. I oh, go, no. oh, oh my no. God, I'm I'm quite ill. Oh no. Wow. Yeah. How long what do you think to get over it? Two full weeks. Antibiotic? Yeah. Steroids? Multiple rounds, multiple rounds. Oh God. And I'm and I'm in a position where I'm in a room. So like then you have to be in a place where it's like you're guilty because you're not going in, but then when you do go in, you're like coughing and everyone's like, you need and to And you have to say it's not COVID, it's not COVID. Yeah. If someone coughs near me, I become I moved tables. Yeah. 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 I, I moved as tables. you should. As you should. It's a on the, people are doing crazy things on planes now without masks. I was sitting next to someone, I realized they're buying cough medicine at Hudson News. I step away. Oh no. Not at Hudson News. <laughs> I'm, I buy the um, coolest. No color. I, I, no. they, have the, they have the coolest stuff Kate, at Hudson News. Thank you for saying that, but can I tell you this? I got <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, that, it's your it's your urine sample. I have a lot of flag. questions about Olaf. Okay. Wait, wait, hold, hold wait, please. Kate's, Kate's, getting, please because... Kate's getting drug tested later, so she brought her friend's urine. <laughs> <laughs> My, I got. Wait, this. I love I love that. It looks like a Beatles wings. Well, thank you. But then, okay. what is this called? Foil, uh, chipped after same day. Well, of course, but it's it, gel. Uh, oh. Same day chipping. I got a pathetic manicure <laughs> yesterday. Shout him out. Oh, God. Cancel a small business. Color. Cancel. Oh, wait, clear. I wanted Cancel. like nothing with a little iridescent. For the new year. But also look at my stubby little. It's like, I know. I used to do look gel. I used to have long nails. Look at what this looks like because of Jurgen's natural glow. It looks like I'm <laughs> so, I know. It looks like you've been juicing turmeric <laughs> with impunity. Oh, wait, I, this is very important. The thing about a juicer is how are you cleaning that? It seems so stressful. Okay, so. So glad you brought this up. Yeah. I've been afraid of juicing for years. Mm -hmm. The cleanup, the cleanup, the pulp. What am I? I don't work in a. I don't work in a factory. Sure, <laughs> I can't. Well, I gotta invest in a hairnet and gloves. How am I gonna? It's easy. Oh. Okay, listen, listen. And I'm only a couple days in, and this is of course classic. Where I'm about three days into juicing, and I te texted my lover, and I was like. I'm gonna juice for the rest of my life. Yeah. Wow, I know. And I go, it's three days in. You know, I know. New personality. But here's the thing: but it's the not pulp, pressure because you don't want to be seen bad. as someone who's like phasey or going through phases. No. So, but when you when something's special to you, it's like you do want to believe you're doing it for the rest. You of your just life. have to wash it immediately, and it's a little annoying. But I have to say, I thought it'd be, it's not that annoying. Okay. That's why I can't. I can't even do the blenders. pulp because the ginger pulp. I went. Blenders are more annoying. Okay. I would almost say, the okay. pulp, the pulp, the ginger pulp. I went. 
Because it's hair. It's human hair is what's in Yeah, general. what is for it's real? It's human hair. Hey, what about the skin? Can you eat that? No. I'm always, I'm always <laughs> like, I'm always freaking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I peel a little, throw it in. What's the next thing in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> what's the next thing in your bag? I have, a, I have so much fun stuff in here. I have, by the way, these are, I'm not a huge stoner anymore because I just, you I, I have lifestyle. to focus. Right? Oh, I thought you said donor. These are, I was like, these are <laughs> one milligram. Plasma. One milligram THC. I'm happy to do an ad for them. Please send more. Yeah, uh, I and wish these I could are, do that. These are one milligram. Yeah. So it's, it's just called? like Rose Delights. What's normal? Five. People are okay. popping fivers. This I I'll do. do any. I'll do this if it's kind of like I'm going to a social event. Yeah. Mm. I, I need to tense. relapse. I need to relapse in coming weeks. Yeah, relapse on this. <laughs> <laughs> relapse on one MG. My favorite party cigarettes. These are fun. Whoa. Oh. So what these are, this is a low dose, very low dose CBD. So oh. Basically nothing. It kind of feels like a joint. Yeah. But if you, if you smoke it really fast after a cocktail, you feel something. Oh, but it might yeah. be placebo. <laughs> but really, it's really just when you want to smoke and you want to be beautiful and with yeah. a cigarette. But I, I'm not going to smoke a cigarette. Do you like to drink alcohol? I drink alcohol, but not a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's classic. I love it, which is out of trend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love to have like, uh, but honestly, I just, I get migraines chronically. Alcohol is a trigger for me. So I really just can is never it? drink very much. So I'll have- But I heard about your shot. Yeah. What shot? By the way, do for my shot today. Exciting. In the leg. I should have done it on air. That, that would have been, been so exciting. fun. Wait, what shot? She has a migraine shot. I do an, oh. an Amovig. Do you migraine? I migraine. And, but can I tell you this? You know, I had my health care this summer. With my but heart, of course. And what he said was, "Don't." Uh, so it all happened. Okay. But he was like, uh, "He's like the one good thing is sometimes people who have visual or a migraine sometimes when they fill this hole in their heart they'll stop and knock on wood." Well, it's hole. But I haven't had one <laughs> since. Since, so I'm hoping they're going away. Holy shit! You haven't had one since. I I had. What happens is right after the procedure, you had I had a few in a row. It said it's common, and then he goes, "Then hopefully they'll go away." I so, cannot fucking believe that happened to you. It was crazy. Thank but God it, you're okay. It would change everything if I stopped getting because do you have visual aura? No, it's horrible. Yeah, but anyways, I, I do a shot, shot my works. leg every thirty days. Changed my life. Really, big, 140 milligrams. I have never had a migraine. You're lucky. As hell. Is I mean, it for mainly girls? But isn't it so? Yeah, it's for funny girls. It's, no, it's literally <laughs> like if you're interesting, you're having yeah. migraines. Yeah, yeah. totally. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel can... deeply connected to those who who migraine mm -hmm. and notice I'm using the verb. Yeah. <laughs> um, we like to talk about we um there is um. Uh, the relationship community on Instagram who talk about like relationships, mm, oh, like yeah. they keep doing this thing that we keep noticing where they're all. You be mean like, like like coaches, like, mm -hmm. like yeah, or yeah. like anything that comes up where it's. And, but there is like when you're in relationship with someone. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. Oh, never when you're in relationship. Yeah, yeah. Are you good at relationship? Like, if you're in relationship, yeah, oh, it's you're migrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That being said, are you in re you're in relationship right now? Yeah, how's it yeah. going? Really good. Did ah! I know, did Do you I know think love is real? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That's <laughs> did, so good. Did I know you at the party when I cornered you and your partner and um, did a full one, one person Loved solo it. show? Okay, Loved good. it. By the way, I love... Who doesn't want to hear about other people's I know. relationship issues, yep. breakups, Yeah, we, okay, we take this out, take this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, take it out because I, I don't talk about my personal life. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's true. I, don't, I, don't, I don't talk about um, my relationship. <sighs> but, but, um, I know. Who but, likes to hear about other people's problems? You know, but I, but we I all, well, who among us has not, you know, fallen in love, gotten their heart broken? I mean, I know. it's just, yeah. you know. Okay, back to much. the bag, back to the bag. This is crazy. This is like all my favorite things in my oh, bag. Oh, okay, so. These are, this is the electrolyte. So oh, yeah. Like Those are in the office. Too salty? Um, what does yeah. that make you feel? Hydrated? I need to hydrate better. My facialist yeah. told me I need to drink water with salt in it. Is that what that is? Yeah. Should this I get, is salt. I don't know about that. What do you that. think about injectables? On the face? Yeah. I haven't done it. I'm not anti because I'm, you know. But Progressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would never judge anyone for doing it. I'm scared. So I, here's the thing. Yeah. I, mean, I could talk about this for hours. In I know, Sam. Because, I, because here's the thing. Two things. First of all, you're an actress. Yes. <laughs> like, we, is, we, is, we cannot lose that. I'm not losing that. We yeah. cannot lose that. That's everything to I me. I know. You cannot touch this. I know. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about in here. <laughs> so maybe maybe in the late 60s yeah. neck job and go to Spain 60s. and get a neck job I want a little yeah like I'm old fashioned slice and dice yeah that's and when, I, when I'm 70 or something right yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can't go in here yeah and you can't like like first of all I'm not just saying this to be you know radical yeah I, no, you and are if you are if you are oh, oops <laughs> if I'm incidentally radical that's fine but, but. I, I just think wrinkles like yeah, I know. Yeah, no, and I just think, <laughs> I just think, yeah, 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 and like also, it's just true. Like, 
My single's gonna be pretty exotic in about ten years when you have a fucking face. I know. A million yeah. people. You watch a movie from the seventies. Everyone's sexy. Why? Yellow teeth. Yeah, yeah. wrinkles. Yeah, they've it been looks good. fucking for years. Yeah. Then I go, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's really. So I mean, and, and again, and again, of course, sometimes, sometimes I catch my forehead and I go, oh god, the elevens, but. Yeah. Oh, I like the eleven. Sometimes I'll. You know, the s- only thing that bothers me, and I'm letting go of this. Yeah. So I. Ha- oh, the puppet lines. Me oh, puppet. These, yeah. I'm okay. puppet. But <laughs> not me puppet. But, but I just think like I don't know. I'm just like Guasha's facial, like yeah. whatever. Also, my, my mother's like almost eighty years old. She's never had anything. She looks gorgeous. Yeah. She looks. She looks amazing. She's aged. Yeah. She doesn't look like she's fifty. Yeah. yeah. But she looks like she's sixty and she's yeah. eighty. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just think it's like I just think that there ha- there, there has to be another way. I um. Are sometimes... you really close with your mom? Yeah. You talk all the time. Three times a day. Three times really? a day. Really? Sometimes once minimum. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's nice. What's she like? She's unbelievable. I gotta oh. be honest. What does she do? I, she's my mom. Uh. <laughs> she, she does being my mom. She um she is like I should bring up yeah she's like we should call her she's just like yeah. you would if you heard her voice you'd be like I get it. oh my god. She really is, I have to say, she's like deeply magical. She's someone that people are like, Yeah. Like wow. your mother. She's like intensely like feminine and dramatic. And like she wanted to be an actress and like she is an actress, but like, you know, but she Offering, you know, she yeah. did set design. Yeah. <laughs> but like she um I'm like tempted to bring up her voice. Where's my phone? I need the voice. Imagine it's gone forever. <laughs> guys, can we get can we get Kate's <laughs> that phone? What happened to me? I probably maybe I left it. It's it's honestly, I was I was so scattered when I came in here. It's possible it's right here, of course. I wonder if I have. Just like I want you to hear her voice. Yeah, I need to hear because it's kind of like everything you have to hear. It's everywhere you want to be. Michelle Brandt. Hi, baby. I'm just calling to say hi. Aww. Oh, this was after a fight, so she sounds Aww. more. <laughs> what do you fight about? Yeah, we had a little fight because um, Lady Bird. Um, this is well, the pod, this a is fight. Pod, Lady Bird. Oh no, no, it was something. It was literally that she gave away something. I was like, why did you give that away? Oh, okay. Like I wanted that. Yeah. That meant more, more something tiff, to me. More of a tiff. Fight is definitely not the How word. did she She's and your just, father meet? Well, they met at a party. Okay. <laughs> are you serious? They met actually at a party in Detroit 10 years before then they started dating. Love. Are you but serious? But they met at like an art party. Oh. My, my mom, my mom. I need to be going to art parties. Yeah. How do we get, how do we get you in there? My mom. I need to meet someone like Kate's her, dad. Yeah. Totally. I know. We got to get you to the, to the art parties. <laughs> Don't make daddy. She's like um, intensely beautiful. Uh, it was always like the beautiful, beautiful, like yeah. sprite. Like who's that woman? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Oh. Which is for me. Can you imagine being born to that woman? <laughs> well, look at you. Stop stunning. Stop. I'm not stunning. Sprite. No, but 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 uh, yeah. What was the question? How they meet? Yeah, how they yeah, meet at party. our parties? And I said yeah. I have to be at our parties. By the way, you know I love met at forty. Met at forty. You love that. Yeah. How old was she when she had you? 42, 43? Loving. Uh, That's what we're gonna have to be working with over here. Absolutely. If I. Uh, what do you think about me being thirty-five? You're fourteen. <laughs> you are. 14. I'm thirty-six. <laughs> I know. How do you know? <laughs> um, uh, I, I feel like I have a relationship where like finding out that like. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Just a charger. Keep going. Back to the bag. No, I, think, I think I should be more younger than you and John than I am. Mm. You know what I mean? For kind of. I just Well, think. see, I've always felt. By the way we I came always, up. Because you raised us. <laughs> My 20s, I always knew, get me out of here. Yeah. Of New York. Like, help, I'm a celebrity. Yeah, get me out just, of here. Just, just, just. Out of the era. I just was like, I always knew. Like for me, 40s, I go. Oh, I'll probably start working on my 40s. Yeah. Um, I'm you like, know? let me be mommy, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Acting wise. Oh, play Like, I'm oh, never yeah. going in for, like, Mrs. Sydney Sweeney. Oh, I've done auditions. Like, Well, that's the thing. I did an audition. This is, to me, unbelievable. Did an audition last year. I go, hmm. They go, you'd, you'd have to do a little nudity. I go, for the right thing, I would. <laughs> you had the script. <laughs> yeah, the brand. Oh, yeah, this looks good. I read it. Went, this like, I'm not going to. Okay, I'll put myself on tape. What the yeah. hell, right? They go. They go, they really like you for it. To shortlist, honey, they really like you for it. Guess who the role went to? Scared. Lily Rose Depp. No. So, so here's what I'm saying. I'm going, that's hysterical. Meaning, I always knew. It's like, no, I need to be in my 40s. You know, who's there? Yeah. Right? It's like, that's, that's. But completely naked. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I would <laughs> do nudity. Who's there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm just saying, this is like when you're, when you're an auditioning actress. Yeah. It's hard out there. I always knew. It's like, I'm not going to be the ingenue. Yeah, I was born. You know, I born past ingenue. Yeah, I went straight to like grandfather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where coastal I am. grandfather. I'm gay assistant yeah. on TikTok. I'm gay assistant. Oh, you know what? I have my other phone. Because oh, you have two th- phones. This has changed my life. I have two phones now. Right. What this is... phone is for Instagram only. Oh, I, this is my bad phone. By the way, never have it with me out in the world except for today because I had to specifically do something. This is my my normal. Are phone. you Are you in promo mode with the show coming up? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, promo mode. This is actually because I was going to DM to have, you someone. Need, you need to hire someone to post for you. Oh. Come on. Really? Yes. Change my life. Change. <laughs> you send the photo and go, here's the caption? She has access to everything now. Everything. <laughs> uh, Carly runs my life. <laughs> okay, I got to do that. I'll, I'll get you a Carly. I know someone, I who, I know someone who pretends they have an assistant. That's smart. Yeah. I did that, that once. Somebody emailed me. And they thought I was an assistant and they were like, hi, wondering if Kate. And I was like, she is available. <laughs> <laughs> and it did feel good. Oh, my God. Look, look, but, how, look how arty. Look how arty. Film in my bag. Oh, wow. Do you do that? Hey, do you do that? Wow. wow. Evidently she does and she is. <laughs> look at that. Make sure we got the right. And let me ask you, what was the first thing that you squished near us? <laughs> um, what? Post that. What did you squish near us? Yeah, what oh. was that thing you squished? In the this early days. Key. So... I have been using this religiously for two years. That's a long time. And Holland, F E N D. Happy to boost them up. Um, can't really tell you what it is exactly. I'm a little confused, but it's yeah. a mist. <laughs> and it, yeah, it's coming out. You do that twice a day. And you breathe it in? Every four to six hours. Supposed to really help minimize your viral load. Wait, what? Oh, are you serious? I'm buying that. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Yeah, I'm seeing. I don't want to jinx myself, but. Have you never gotten COVID? I have. Oh, I thought that's what you were years intimating. Years and years ago. Yeah. Early days. I got... I'm at bars. I'm at parties. I'm performing. Yeah. Yeah, you're an artist. You're out and about. I need that. Um, How long does it last? So I think it's cumulative. So it's like, do it three times a day sure. for 16 years. Yeah. 16. It's the kind of thing that scares me because you wouldn't know if you were running low. You sure yeah. do, honey. Did okay, anyone okay, see? Okay. So do you have any relationship with Bethany Frankel? So I watched Housewives New York a little bit. I haven't yeah. seen much, much of the Housewives I, at all. I mean, I mainly mean like her present day persona. Yeah. So I do touch in yeah. to her drugstore find. Yeah. That's great. So and she, I love her like anorexic snacks. She I love yeah. watching her. <laughs> this is so good. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. seaweed. A, a yeah, tablespoon yeah. of cream cheese with um everything bagel um, yeah. seasoning on it. And she's like heaving and hawing yeah. over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. Well, she just her did, monthly meal. Well, first of all, yeah, she just yeah. did a post yeah. that said like on the Epstein on on. She did a post I, I screenshot because it was making me laugh so hard. It was just Bethany, and then it was like it just said on Jeffrey Epstein, which I think is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but also, she did a thing that was Who's like that? Tower Twenty Eight. That's very TikTok. Is Are you that? on there? No. Should I get on TikTok? Do I need to? It's just relevant? so fun. Here's what's the problem: is like I'm I'll scared. do a TikTok, but it's then so inspiring. I have two phones. People make me laugh so much. Like I'll laugh until I cry alone in my house watching TikTok. And this is why essentially television and film is over. Yeah. It is. I'm, I'm not problem. fucking kidding you. Because if people want to laugh, what are they going to do? I'd like to watch the Gary Shandling show. Yeah. I'll take that out because it seems like I'm disparaging. It. It's brilliant. I'm just saying people aren't going to the archive. They're going no. to watch a dog have sex with. I don't find it <laughs> a grandmother or whatever. A dog. <laughs> I can't like I, people who like share like funny, funny like videos to their stories. Yeah. I can't. I'm like, why are you doing this? Well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I what do you mean exactly? Do you know who I mean? Uh oh. Here we go. No, but I was asking if you knew who I meant. The person I mean is like the person I always mean. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, I know what you mean now. Okay, well, well, off air, I'm going to need to know. Also, what do you think? <laughs> also, I, I'm also one for like, I get sharing a close friend's accomplishments, but I'm seeing a lot of like, it feels fake. It's like, love, I'm like, well, by the way, when do you stop? When do you start? I know. I had to stop doing, because I try to post, I'm try, I really try to be on Instagram. Was, it's so I smart. Because last night I relapsed hard. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I just was like on my bad phone scrolling yeah. hours. And yeah. I, and I went, you know what? Have fun. Go get in. It's just endless. But the thing about the birth, because once you start, when you oh, do a right. birthday post, yeah. well, then, then you have to post everyone's birthday. I know. Yeah. And then you go share the accomplishments of a friend, absolutely lift up your friends, but then you got to lift everyone up all the time. I know. And it's what are we doing? Fake. I know. Or just, or just, it's too much. It's just too Let much. Let me ask you this on our pod. We just ask one question, which is, and you can answer this however you want. Who were you? Who are you? And who do you want to be? <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, and I just want to just finish my thing about Bethany, which is that she um <laughs> did a post about like expensive products that like have really big packaging, but then when you like dismantle the packaging, one. there's only like this much product. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to say believe that. it. Yeah. And it's actually this much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love this product. I, I love like this product. when she when she goes expensive but worth it. Yeah. When she goes into that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, but anyways, she is right about Chanel blushes. Okay. Um growing up. Who were you in high school? In high school I was the class clown, but yeah. like truly, I was mm -hmm. like, I was very much um, the jester. Yeah. So you and Ruby went to high school to school together. So Ruby's Ruby was like in the seventh grade when I was in the 
whatever grade. That's so nice. You don't have to say that. No, but that just means she was like a little baby. So she yeah. was like 12 and I was 16. I don't know. What yeah. kind of high school did you go to? What was the vibe? New York. All girls school. No, Los Angeles. I didn't know that. All girls Holly school. Weird. Holly weird. Which, yeah. Okay. All girls on, uniforms? On, uniforms the on crafts. Sunset Boulevard. Secular all girls school. That's wild. Wow. A secular all girls school. Who's heard of such a thing? I know. Um... Was, did you like it? Did you like it? Rebeloved. I loved middle school. Can you believe that? I loved middle school. Easier to be a class concert. I cried at my eighth grade graduation. Sobbed. Oh, I, yeah. I loved OC it so soundtrack. much. Uh, so so very close my to eighth my, grade graduation. my closest friends from that time. Yeah, it's the best. My eighth grade graduation, like every song had, every graduating class had like a graduation song. And when I was in sixth grade was when vitamin C graduation came out. And I was oh. like so jealous of the eighth graders. I was like, oh my God, you're so lucky. Yeah. And then when- it, That was it, me. Because I'm a year older than you. You're, two, you're so no, lucky. No, it was two years. Careful. But when did you graduate middle school? I don't know about that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, when did everyone in this room graduate? Do the math. I can't, I can't I, do but that. But then when it was our year, me and my one friend were really lobbying for Michelle Branch goodbye to you. Because mm. we thought it was so true about what we were experiencing. But then everyone else voted for that's what friends are for. That sucks. Can you imagine? We were yeah. just sit there on the ride just singing that's what friends are for. That sucks. Instead of Michelle Branch goodbye to you. Would have been much better. Um, but anyways. Okay, so high school, you're beloved. You're the class clown. Yeah, we always... I was very never been kissed. Oh, oh you're 40. Yeah. You're 40. I was really horny, <laughs> but no one would kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, I was very, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, I did actually, I was, I was thinking just now, I was like, well, I did make out with a couple people. And I actually recently, by recently, I mean two days ago, went, whatever happened to, you yeah. know, and looked up on your bad phone. Yeah, the guy on the bad phone. And it was so amazing because he held, he held so much power over me, right? Yeah. Um, and, and he was the cool indie and like, not feel bad, like Wifey sees this. Wait, this, like, I know, he, he won't. Yeah, yeah, if there's scary. One, it's listeners. scary, though. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> People wait, really, they, they went, listen. They the see. girl I used to hi- um, make out with in high school, I have to show you her now. It's okay, like, great. Her, um, her life is so scary to me. It's so, like, she lives on this town in, like, Long Island, and, like, okay, wait, I sent it to my two sh- straight boyfriends in high school. Like, this is every picture she posts. Like imagine me making out. Imagine make me out? making out with that girl. Look at her, <laughs> look like her, look how her legs are standing. Give me I a look. That's posture. Give That's me a every look. picture she posts. It's very like I dressed my husband. Oh wow! That could have been me. What's so shocking is not not this. It's just like they're our age. Like, they're what literally does that our mean? age. We were making That's out, crazy. and she wasn't a Murray Kaylee Turner figure. Wow. So when did you first fall in love? Well, I mean, I was very. I've always been very. You know prone to love, prone to infatuation, to mm-hmm. fantasy and such. So I was in love, you know, when I was six. John yeah. Travolta, Greece, honey. You yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. But um, I guess my first kind of like, eh, was probably that boyfriend when I was in the ninth grade. Wow. That's young. a boyfriend in the ninth grade. Thank you. That's incredible. Yeah, it took oh, us so thank long. You. And I went to an all girls school. Yeah, how'd you find no, them? How'd you get them? That is very impressive. To be, we only made out. Yeah, but I of went course. You're in ninth grade. <laughs> For your child. Yeah, of course. Well, all my friends were getting railed. Wow. Really? Ass by tenth grade. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> I went on. I went on birth control. Wasn't fucking for years. Yeah. Wow. But I just was like wanting to be ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. that's me with prep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then were you, were you always like, I'm gonna be actress. I want to move to New York. Like, yeah, was, yeah. Well, I love Felicity. Of course. Uh, so I was I like, have to watch it. I had a thing where I would. There was a poster for NYU at my school, and I would touch it every day. <gasps> so OCD style would go the long way. Make myself late because I had to touch the poster every day. Um, loved Felicity, and, but yeah, but yeah, I was. I want to be. An, I always was like, I want to be. Yeah. An Wait, did you go to NYU? Yeah, so I went to Bard for a year. I was wow. rejected from acting school, and I want to make that very clear. Yeah, mm-hmm. please. That I was rejected from Tish for acting. Yeah. And then I went later for school, but for, like, academic uh-huh. stuff. Purposes. And also, those who are rejected, they fight harder than ever. And now look at you. I mean... Star of stage and screen. Rejected. Going up against Lily Rose Depp for Reje- new roles. Star of stage <laughs> and screen. Rejected across the board, all acting. No. I was waitlisted no, 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 no. at Emerson. Uh, and I went... There's a person called Emerson in my orbit right now. Really? I don't like that. I don't like it name, either. Yeah. Wait, what did you say about Emerson? I was waitlisted. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so you end up at NYU. Yeah. And New York loved, City. You loved it. Love New York City. But I was starting to do stand-up in high school, at the end of high school. Oh, were That's you? That's wild. 17 years old. It's... Where? Are you ready for this? Yeah. The Laugh Factory doing open mics. Are you serious? That's amazing. We're winding up at 5.30. With How my, did you know? Like, my best friend from was... childhood, Samantha Birch, who wrote me December, and that's why I'm. Oh, know, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah best friend from childhood. Genius beyond. She would literally line up with me to be my little friend. 5.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, the open mic at the Laugh Factory. 
amazing. To go do, I mean, can you imagine the fucking hell? Oh no. my god! How did you stand up come into your orbit? What, how are you like? That's what I want to do. My when I was seventeen, I, I mean, I, you know, class kind of. But yeah. then I just started. I don't really know. I just I know. kind of started getting obsessed with stand up, listening. But then I was like, you know, I was like, I'm listening to the old like Woody Allen stand up. I was like. But I was nice. Well, I, thought Dane Cook, I thought Dane Cook was hysterical. Totally, I, I bought, didn't. I yeah. bought the Dane Cook CD because I was like, I'm gonna listen to all stand up. So I listened to Dane Cook. Yeah. I listened to like everything that was coming out of New York. Yeah, and then like I and I just was yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. I enough. didn't know what it was. I was like at Christian camp. I was like, what is? So was that? I. I went to Christian camp. I was a counselor at Christian camp. No, as a Jew. As a Jew. <laughs> In yeah, like California, the Bishop's Ranch. Did you that con- is wild. Did you convert anyone? I was on birth from, control from there too. Did you convert? <laughs> did you successfully? Name all the places you've been on birth control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Name every state that you've been on birth control. I didn't control convert in. anyone. From gay to straight. No. That sucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound like you were a great counselor. <laughs> I was Christian camp in Arkansas. I told me my Jewish grandmother was in hell. Oh my God. Really? Can you imagine? And is she? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take out a Ouija board and I ask had a, it. I had a memory recently of being a counselor at Christian camp. And how sweet it was. A little girl woke up in the middle of the night homesick, cradling her. And I was like, <clears throat> I had the memory of her crying in my arms. Wow. And I felt like a child myself. I'm an only child. I was like, this is the experience that people with siblings get. Yeah. That I don't get where it's like, I have to pretend to be an adult right now for this child. Oh, yeah. I myself am a child. Yeah. That, I had that experience. Really robbed of that. Now as an adult, I see the effects. Do you want kids? Uh, how much time do you have, honey? I know. Uh-huh. Yes. Wait, no. You were, I mean, you were ang. Hmm? You were ang. You were engaged. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how was that? Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were angry. You were angry. <laughs> yeah. But do you want kids? Get, I don't know. You want, you want to get married? I actually recently, probably, I recently was like, oh, you know, freezing the eggs, all of that. I was very like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I know yeah, that did you, you do did it. it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it, and now I'm kind of going like, I might not fucking do it. Like, yeah. I'm a little bit like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm well, not doing it. Way, I'm, I'm not doing it. If I could press the button and have done it, I would. But you know but, what? Else? You know I have PCOS, and so that's why I did it. Yeah. If, if you're right. if you're working, you don't need to do it. You're Here's good. the thing: I'm just kind of like I've heard a few horror stories. Yeah. The retrievals. Retrievals, and also just like people, it just like fucks you up physically. And I'm a little bit like, maybe I'll just roll the fucking dice, see what happens. And you know what? I'm inching towards adoption every I, day. Me too. Yeah. If I have. And kids. why not? Why not? Yeah. I said I know a girl who sold her eggs for UCB classes. Yeah, not surprised. Worth yeah. every penny. <laughs> um, okay, so you're in high school, you're in NYU, you're making your dreams come true. When were you like, I've made it? Still waiting any day, honey. No, come on. Come no, on. I am. Um, when, when did you move out here? So I'm from here. No, I know, but you were you were a New Sorry. York icon. Oh, thank you. I moved back. back. You know, it was like a weird thing where I never was like, I'm moving back. Like, yeah. I didn't tell people. Mm. I just kind of like left in the night. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't want to do a big like, I'm moved, leaving New yeah. York thing. I know. I don't know. I mean, I guess I moved back fucking nine years ago. I mean, really? It's crazy. That is crazy. I think I moved back almost 10 years ago. That's kooky. Wow. You're a New Yorker. When you've been in LA for 10 years, you're a New Yorker. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I still, you know, I go back all the time, whatever. Of course. Of but, course. And, you know, you never leave. You prefer being here. <sighs> Wouldn't go that far. Okay. But I do, but I love LA. I do love, and it's, you know, I'm from here. My parents are here. I'm That's not, so nice. It's different, you know. It's heaven. But I do. Every time I go, I mean, New York, New York, New York will always be my town. But I'm totally. also a little like West Side bitch. I like the mall. And yeah. I want, I want I to put my mall. groceries in my car and like yeah. be in it's traffic. Decadent. I love the mall. I love the Grove. Yeah. That's it's decadent. Like. But I love like, a normal, LA so normal. But you know what I don't like? <laughs> Century City. Well, of course not. I hate but, it there. but the mall there is exquisite though. Have you been? That's what I mean. The Century City Mall. I don't like There's that. There's the mall right across from my gynecologist. What's it called? Century City. It's Westfield Shopping Town. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, I don't like that mall. Wait, is that mall? I, by the way, am I even from LA? I don't know what fucking Someone mall from I'm talking about. Was I'm so looking mean it up there. because I was actually blown away by it. Um, it's you feel like, like a, you buy uh, everything online or no? No, in fact, I really try to go in. Is Century City Mall that I loved? Okay, um, you try to go. in. I try to go in, and I've done this a lot. The trying to go in thing. It's hard, but well, I I talk about this a lot on my podcast. The brick and mortar is fucking dead. I know they're forcing us online. <laughs> yeah. And I, I still go into Bloomingdale's with bright eyes. Yeah. Let's shop, girls. Yeah. No one's that on the floor. Mm-hmm. They don't want to see you. They don't yeah. want to talk to you. There's no merchandise. There's no sizes. When's the last... There are no sizes. Yeah. You go, I go, I went in. This woman got blessed her. I go, I wanted to buy underwear. Mm-hmm. I yeah. want to just like some, you know, I like Calvin Klein kind of basic totally. cotton, yeah. like French cut. 
underwear. Uh, I go in. What is French cut? Show me the Calvin Klein. It just like kind of goes up around the hip. Okay, I, mean, cool. I don't do it like crazy style. <laughs> like, Baywatch. <laughs> I go, I go, yeah. but, like, well, tell. I go in. She's like, okay, yeah, like kind of like basic. I'm like, just like basic like underwear. There's nothing. <laughs> There's like two sizes. They're like exclusively like brief style. I'm yeah. like, no, I want just, I'm a, I want underwear. You want these. Yeah. And it was just, it was absolutely insane. Even she yeah. felt ashamed. And I just, she goes, I guess you could look online. And I went, I know. Aww. And I wanted to have an experience. I wanted to come into the community. Especially bras and underwear. It's such a, it's such a feminine experience. I want to see and touch it. Yeah. yeah. You want someone to measure you. And yeah, like I know. It's just bra. It. You want to try in a bra and go, mm. Yeah. That's so rare. I went to the Century City Suit Supply and the guy there, there was this guy there who was being so crazy to me and he was like, what's your name? And I was like, Pat. And he goes, oh, weird name. I go, <laughs> I go, I don't feel like that. I say, I, I don't feel like that. He goes, I just, I'm sorry. I just don't meet a lot of Pats. I go, so I, swear crazy. I go, I feel like I meet a lot of Pats. Yeah. He goes, classic maybe, name. He goes, maybe eight year old grandmas. So he had a crush on you. Yeah. I was going to say, so he's well, not He was you. hitting on the person I was with. I don't like him. How did you meet your lover? Well, you know how it is. You orbit, you orbit each other. We got um, we got Pat's looking for love. Really? Well, I don't know if I am. Okay, sorry. I can't tell if I am looking yeah. for love. I don't. Then you're not looking. <laughs> I know. Mm. Well, you, but by the way, it's not true what they say. I'm when you stop looking, it does that's it. what happens to me. It does it now. I was fully um, free. Yeah. I can't tell if I. I was, and now I'm like, I used to be much happier alone, and now I'm going through a moment where I'm like, wait, I, I'm, I think because I'm new here, I'm like. Feeling like unhappy alone. Totally. I think I'm just unhappy. Period. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the, actually the worst time to find love is when you're unhappy. Period. Because then you start relying on the other person. It's really like all the fucking cliches are true. I can speak mm. for myself. It's, it's like when you're actually like enjoying yourself alone, and you're and you, but like not yeah. just saying that you are when you really are. Yeah, yeah. that's when it happens. I'm not. I forget <laughs> what makes me happy. The only thing I like is my gym. My gym saved my life. Hot, and Which podca- gym? And podcasting, yeah. of course. Oh yeah! So good. Oh yeah! The way, yes, yes. The way yes. he is about this gym is insane. By the way, I might check it out. Wait, please! I need allies there. I need to lift a weight. I literally need allies there. Okay, we'll talk. Okay. I'm scared <laughs> to go. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about it too much. Yeah, totally. Okay. I don't want to be that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk about it nonstop. <laughs> just well, so you I'm, know. Really, I'm really <laughs> just so you know. Jacqueline Novak is so obsessed with Tracy Anderson method. And it's oh, it's her body. It's crazy. What's that? I was like, your ass. My, the ass did you do it at home? Year old. Yeah. I have an incredible ass right now. I struggle. I struggle with ass stuff because I have a hip issue. Do you? So I can't like doing like lunge it, like doing like a lot of the ass yeah. stuff. I hate when they want you to put the bar Deadlift. on while no, you. No, that's bridge. the most important. Oh, I love that's that. The most I important thing. That. That's me. the best thing you could ever do for your ass. I, I feel really like I'm gonna have to get ass have a pad, replacement. Pad. Yeah, I just have a bad history with like trying to get a personal trainer and then not connecting with them and then resenting them and yeah. I was like seven of them. I was like, no one's no one's changed me. No one's yeah. helped me. Tra- I mean, honestly, I kind of have a fantasy of getting into Tracy Anderson. I don't know. Who this Can woman you go is. in person here? Yeah, they have like that could be fun. They have a studio. I like a group thing. So I watched the videos she did during the pandemic. Where she's like in Bali, like in her big hut. I didn't hut. see that. I didn't see that. It's just like her in the forest being like, I love. <laughs> Who is she? I have not seen. She's a thin person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. very. very. <laughs> when I said that was so much love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jealousy. She's a professional. Very thin, thin huge gazungas. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? She's blonde, right? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so who are you now? I looked up her whole dating history the other day. Actually, is she partnered? She is now. Yeah, does she have so, kids? She's in relationship. Yep, she's a daughter. She's in relationship. I'm obsessed with knowing if uh, everyone's whole deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is sorry, but I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Um, she is in relationship. Okay. Okay. Who are you now? I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about, to, you're about to do the show. I'm kind of good right now. Wait, yeah. what are the shows exactly? Sold out New York. Sold out. How was London? Really, really fun. Isn't so it great. On I Earth? love yeah. I, I have love to see it. it. When is it here? So this is my show, Kate. It's at the Pasadena Playhouse, January 17th to February 11th. I'm literally seeing tickets it. are flying, folks. Okay, I'm I bet they it. are. It's so good. Oh my god! Please come. Pa- take one and pass it down. Yeah. These are the business cards. I'm going to be hiding these around LA or doing something. These are going to be, oh, I wanted to do like, oh, if you come with the business card, you get a free voucher for a drink, but I don't think that's. I, it's not I fair to people. That requires it's not fair emails to people on your, yeah. email <laughs> yeah. about that. It's not fair to people in recovery. Yeah, you're right. Well, you get a soda. <laughs> yeah. You can get Dr. Pepper. Lucky you. <laughs> you get it. Yeah, I think then everyone should have to get a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. You, you should say you get a free Dr. Free Dr. Pepper, Pepper with a card. That's actually good. Yeah. Do you guys know about Mr. Pib? 1,000%. Yeah. Okay. Do you know about Dr. Bob? No. no. Do you know about Tab? 
Yeah. yeah. Tab is fucking good. Is it? Tab is never d- had. It's, it's cola. I had a tab maybe years ago. It's like a diet cola, but it has a little something in there that's special. It's yeah. Really good. What's your favorite food? Love that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you like food item? Like, okay, when you say favorite food, this is key. Like, okay. Like, like going out on a Friday night, big, fun, decadent dinner, what do I want? Or like kind of every day more like the food that I eat the most. Do you no, know what you're giving? I mean, like, do you know what you're giving right now? Taylor served 73 questions when they said, what's your favorite food? And she said, if calories don't count, chicken, chicken tenders. Aww. And I'm, I've always. What? Chicken. But if, no. I'm always like, what if calories count? I mean, <laughs> you get home, you get home, you're starving, you're ordering takeout. Okay. So takeout for me. So synonymous with Thai. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, I would love like a pad CU. Yeah. yeah. I would love a pad CU. Are you, are you a meat eater? I am a meat eater. Good. I don't eat a ton of meat. Okay. 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 But. Some might say I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, girl. The patsy with chicken, but I love a patsy with tofu if it's good. Yeah. I know when it's chicken, it's dead. Wait, what yeah, is patsu? And how pad-su. is it? Patsu. You know, it's like, noodles. it's like the, yeah. the, the, yeah. the noodles. But, um, I got you. Thicker noodles. But, but, you know, <laughs> Italian, but, you know, Italian food is my favorite food yeah. out, of course. Yeah. But um, I really love Mexican food. I just, I, I love it all. You can't yeah. lose. You can't lose. My favorite food is truly quesadilla at the end of the day. Uh-huh. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do. Um, what's your, who do you want to be? What's your dream? Mm, like, Amazing Kitchen, me. Yeah. Yes. Are you a cook? You juices. I know that you juice. So, I don't feel that I can say that I am. Yeah. I'm lucky to say, I think I have people that would argue with me on that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, I, I would like to get, like, I just, I, I, uh, I mean, I love to cook, and I I love that, but I don't love it. I don't feel like I'm in it right now in a real way. Yeah, with cooking. Well, to be in it requires. I mean, it has to be a full to make yourself one dinner is a full time job. Well, I one, adore it, but I can only do it for at least four people. I'm not well, going yeah. for one or two. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, if the food. This is a, talk about who you want to be. I've had this fantasy of okay, right, the food prep, right? You have the salad dressing in there. You have the roasted vegetables in there. Yeah. You have the the salad washed in there. Mm. You're assembling. You're assembling. Yeah. I, like, I have a bulk chia pudding right now. I'm assembling in the morning. Yeah. Berries, nut <laughs> butter. I will say, like, one time we, as a podcast, are sponsored by one of those, like, things where they send you the ingredients and you make it, like, hello, oh, yeah, of hello course. chef Blue or apron. whatever. Yeah. And so... With those, it's really, like, chicken or egg. Like, did that come or did the podcast come? Or did the podcast come? Did that come? <laughs> and yeah. it's also yeah. crazy because it's, like, I remember, like, they're, like, oh, and... Like, I can't even imagine what real cooking was because I tried to do one of the meals and it was literally like make a taco for one person. And I was like waking up at 5 a.m. Like make, as, <laughs> as well as making a Thanksgiving dinner for 18. I was like yeah, chopping yeah. like yeah. I was like a f- seven hour preparation experience. Yeah. And, but if they would love to sponsor us again, we would love to. Of course, we'll say take it. different no, things. Fun. Say more positive things about We'll them. take it. Yeah. Do you want a kitchen? Yeah, like me, in, me in the kitchen, like. Yeah, big farm sink. Oh. Window open. Stainless steel or wood countertop. Yeah. Marble's done. I think done. A, a, a big kitchen island is such Stainless like a... Stainless steel or wood countertop marble is done. Okay, I didn't register that. Marble <laughs> is done. Yeah. Okay. For me, it was never even a part of the oh, conversation. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It never had a seat at the table. I don't like... You want like a butcher's block across... Yeah. I yeah, want a butcher's block too. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's like the morning mm-hmm. and I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. 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 Who, do you want to, who do you want to be for it to be the morning when I'm near my counter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the kitchen in the morning. So like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love it. Um, what were you going to say? I didn't have anything. Perfect. Do you? I have so much. Okay. Yeah. I know we got the wave for your doctor's appointment. Yeah. I'm going okay, to be like, a urologist. Oh, he, wait, wait. This is so interesting. Look down. Two of my friend's sisters have texted me. That's so strange. Two, the same friend. And they don't know each other. John huh. Early's sister texted me, but that's not un- uncommon. And then my friend Danielle's What's his sister. sister like? She's like the sweetest, lives in Tennessee, has two girls. Wow. Looks like like they have like the face is like fully wow. there. Um, two girls call me Aunt Kate. Oh. Can you believe that? You come out with what are John Early's sisters like? <laughs> 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 my first question. Uh, One oh. sister. Oh, so me and terrifying. by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> One sister. And you're, you must be confusing and. his other sister with Danielle's sister, who's a separate person. Yeah. And so two sister texts. Yeah. What Interesting. The, what, what do you think they... the new year holds? So much. Really? I think this year, I just, you know, you never want to go, oh, this year, you know, but I just, uh, the new year holds strength, mm-hmm. I hope. focus, mm-hmm. yeah. courage, yeah. love. Going deeper. Do you care about <laughs> astral? Yeah, a little bit. What are you? I dip. I double. know very little. Yeah. The Chani app, though. Love. What, what's that? It Chani. It's Chani. Chani? You know, it's been I bothering. subscribed. I is bought that it. better than CoStar? Yeah. CoStar is literally 
The kids. <laughs> no, the, the, kids are, the writing is fun, but it's also very and they're they're intentionally Chani. cryptic and it's poetic. Yeah. But Chani, or is it Chani? I think it's Chani. She kind of goes in there and they're they're pretty good. But it's like a hundred dollars for a year. I'll do it. But every for day. Answers. But, for answers. Can, but it's real well, here's when I was in darkness, I was consulting it absolutely constantly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. So I was in darkness all summer. When we're in darkness, we go in. Yeah, but was it, it helpful in darkness? Yeah, what I'm saying yeah. is it, I'm was saying, it Chani up to helpful in darkness? No, what I'm saying is it didn't help me because I was like, that's not it at all. Like you oh. actually, I'm like, you have no idea. The pain, like, it yeah. wasn't, do you know what I mean? I was validated. I, like it helped me. Okay. But so I have a little fun with it. Like, oh, do you no. think it was true? What it was telling you? Yeah. Well, cause it's, so what do they say? Everything that's coming up is for your greater good. Yeah. It's just like, you need God. That's what it is. I know. We do. That's like, like so, so, I have an Uber driver in Denver tell me that. Yeah. Well, it's just true. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like oh, this is me attempting to access God. I know that everything's me attempting to access God. You think I'm Ye- fucking stupid? <laughs> yeah. It's like, of course. It's like boring yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I know that. And so, but the astrology thing, you know, we, we, we've been torn from the earth and Western culture. There's some desire to get back to the stars and all that. And I, yeah. And yeah. And I would love that. And I remember, I remember when I got into the Chani app, I go, oh, you know, I'm going to start doing it as Chani. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start building my altar. I'm gonna get the flowers and coordinate yeah. with the season. I never did it once. Yeah, but that, but that's what the desire was to look at the moon. But what I like that she does say because you know it's like, oh, the full moon. What do you have to do? And she's like, no, let go of that doing thing. You know, it's enough. Yeah. It's just pro- you don't have to like do anything. She does tell us to rest a lot, which I love. There's yeah. no problem to be yeah. fixed, by the way. Oh, that's awesome. Our our condition is fundamentally joyful, by the way. Oh, wonderful. Now, do you guys? I have a crush for the week. Oh my god! Like every person, place, thing, up on this. item. So we didn't really get through the bag, did we? I know. No. Do you want to say crush of the week? is fun. I was trying to think about like someone was like, "Who's your celebrity crush?" And I was it like, could be "I was drawing a blank." Thing. It could be a person, place, thing. Who was like? Who was a celebrity that awakened you sexually as a as a child? Who was your doink daddy daddy plastic for green? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, who are the big ones? I was obsessed with Michael Pitt. Because Hedwig oh, and the Angry Inch, yeah. I watched like every day after school. I don't know how to do And I one. also loved young Jack Nicholson. This, oh, this is sex. Um, but then, of course, you know, Shane from the L Word, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do I have to use that voice, you know? Right. Um, Interesting. There's people, no problem to fix. People, yeah. people are really attracted to that person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not. You're not. Because. Yeah, of my sexual preferences is men, but men, also men. I had a huge question like Pamela Anderson and Baywatch. Yeah, yeah, and that's I was like actually, jerking off wildly to her. Yeah. yeah, I actually probably jerked off to her. Yeah, I was kind of all. I just kind of was. I was just really just horny and just like anything that no. seemed sexual. I was like, yeah. Especially yeah. when you don't get to see it and you're little, and you see you're like, oh my god. Like, yeah, even a kiss. I remember my mom used to be like, oh, I hate when they. She would like pinch she didn't want to watch it, and I'd be like, I really want to watch this part. Yeah, yeah of course, not with her, but like I was like trying to find porn. Wherever I could, yeah, from a very young age, oh movie sex scenes. I would always search movie it. sex scenes. I used to jerk off to like the scene of. Do you remember the movie Double Jeopardy? Of course. So there was a Not scene the where scene. Ashley Judd has sex. Okay, I just want to tell you this. Ashley Judd was in my dream last night. No, it was serious? with Diane Lane. It was Diane Lane. Are okay, you sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Diane Lane. Lane. What are the chances? In my dream last night, Diane Lane goes, "Come downstairs, meet my partner of ten years." Oh and I God. thought, is she gay? Or were you I thought, is that what she's saying? Yeah. My partner? Yeah. And was she? I never found you never followed her downstairs. downstairs. <laughs> Meet my partner of ten years. You woke up right before you went to the party. <laughs> Meet my partner of ten and years. And by the way, I was in Gwyneth Paltrow's house. Oh my god! And it was unbelievable Christmas tree in every room. Oh <laughs> too my! Much. Too it much. was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're upstairs in Gwyneth Paltrow's house. Diane Lane is downstairs. Call <laughs> me my partner of ten years. <laughs> That's yeah. an amazing dream. Yeah. Um. What was I just gonna say? Sorry, cut you off. No, Brutally. oh, just oh no, just that I used to jerk off to this one scene in Double Jeopardy mm-hmm. where Ashley Judd was having sex on a boat and you see one of her boobs. God, I can't believe I don't remember that. <laughs> it was before. It was before her husband picked his own murder. What? Oh, in the movie. Okay. The, yeah. <laughs> Um, Makes me want to watch that movie. Is Tommy Lee Jones in that? Yes, the plot He's of the movie. He's exquisite. The plot of the movie is actually a really interesting premise. Uh huh. Go ahead. It's that Ashley Judd is married to this guy, and for reasons I can't remember, he oh, frames yeah. her for his. Murder, and he's like perfect looking. And then reinvents yeah. himself as like the president of the United States. It's. I'm so sorry. I, I completely zoned out. We need out. to watch it. Yeah. yeah I, it's. It's hard to follow. She's tried. Is it? Yeah. She's tried and convicted for the murder of her husband, but. He's really still alive. Because of the law of double jeopardy that says you cannot be convicted of the same crime twice, it means that she, since she already served her time for murdering him, can literally murder him in public. And there's no... So cool. So then she has to get to him. But he's like... Oh, what do you mean you can't be convicted of the same crime twice? I forget. Sure you can. (laughs) (laughs) Bang, bang. And how do you... 
It's how long did she serve for murder? I, it's like a, reading this? It's, it's literally a, <laughs> it's literally a montage. So I don't know. It's like, like a long time. She gets for out murder. for like good behavior. Yeah, it was like a surely long time. a long time for murder. I think it was like they didn't like get bogged down. It's and all amazing that. though, and her or it's mm. Diane Lane unfaithful. Now, I'm, oh yeah, oh, oh that's really fun. Really fun. That that's movie a great, was that guy. Her getting railed. That guy. Yes. Yeah. The Dreamers really made me horny. Obviously, saw in theaters I, saw with yeah. Michael Pitt. Yeah. I, I, the unfaithful. The film made a girl at my college an absolute laughing stock because. When um, Diane Lane is having sex doggy with the guy, mm-hmm, yeah. she thought it was anal, and she was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> having anal." And everyone's like, "It's not <laughs> anal, it's doggy." Oh, and no, like, of course, and like, she thought it was anal, like, and she was like absolutely oh, harassed for years. No, of yeah. Sad. Um, <laughs> wish her the best, of course. Um, god, it's like we barely skimmed the surface. No, I, I knew it would be like this, and I'm stressed out. Oh wait, I gotta. Um, I'm gonna order my car to my doctor. I hate oh my that. god, what kind of doctor? A urologist. Ass? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> I, um, I wish it was an ass doctor. I, um, I'm going to a urologist because I pee so much. Mm, and I'm oh, sick and tired of it. Honey, you're just anxious. Yeah. Oh. Do you think that's what it is? Yeah. It's definitely Are you serious? Mental. Because I am so anxious. Mm-hmm. And I do pee It's anxiety. So I literally can't watch a movie. Anxiety. In theaters. Wow. I'm going to see if he says Hold that. More. I trust you so <laughs> I trust you so much, but I'm going to see if he says that. Yeah, but he's going to go, uh, have you ever... Ch-? He's going to start fisting me. <laughs> it's probably mental. Wow. Which doesn't mean it's not real, but it's very good. Thank mental. you. Um, that's wow. so interesting. That'd be my prognosis. Because it's crazy. It's Tell like that's what I said. eight times an hour, I would say. Yeah, that's, that's anxiety. Yeah. Wow. I or maybe I should go. Maybe that should tip me and go, oh, maybe there is something. <laughs> <laughs> it's 14 times every minute. You've been fine. I just pee right now. We've been here for about an I hour. Know, and I know. And I've been drinking this. Like, no. Because you're released. You're having fun. Yeah. You're in your zone. We have way more questions for you. Rapid fire. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Uh, my crush of the week is Pink Lady oh, yeah, I um, didn't... Health Aid Kombucha because it is so good and it does ultimately taste like orange um, apple juice in a pleasant way. That's my crush of the week. Mine is um, my new slouchies. Ooh. Slouchy socks that I got and they make me feel so... Those are cozy. Yeah. They're so cozy. I want a new boot. Oh. Uh, let me talk to you. Because these boots, this is a vintage boot, but hey. look at my look at the tip of them. They've gotten totally okay, fucking rugged. Something? You know, all I do is buy boots. So what are we talking about? But can I can I say something about boots? You know, boots? my favorite can Mista. Can I say something yeah, about yeah, boots? Yeah, for sure. Can I say something about boots? Aren't you the li- what what? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little boot girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't wait to hear what this is going to be. I just think that boots, like to me, like of course I want a boot, but like. They take so long to put on. And no, then no. What men they need are less doing, time than no. I only wear boots. And then, Same. And then, well, because well, men's, men's like aren't my often zip like that. And yeah. then, like, they'll do these little kind of peekaboo things that make them flexible so you could squeeze them on. But I don't like how the peekaboos look. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Wait, you what's have to break peek-a-boo? in a good boot. It's like, Can I see how tall those are? Whatever. These aren't. These aren't. No, very no, no. Tall. I mean, how high up they go. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of an ankle. Yeah. By far. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have you right. Really beautiful. No, for sure. The book. Um, I know she goes. I know Miss, uh, your no, shit. No, no, no. I, but you're you're exactly right. But it's I want to go in. I don't want to go online. I want to go in. I want to feel it, especially with a shoe. All right, my crush week is my slouchies, and you have one. I didn't give one. Um, five, four, three, two. two I'm not ready yet. Um, one. Um, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my crush of the week is. I mean, I really want to get this right. Wait. Yeah. Um, well, you should get it right. You can't it's get it wrong. It's a brownie. A brownie? It's a brownie a at specific? Amara Kitchen in okay. Highland Park. Wow. And every time I eat this brownie, I go, I know that I like this. I am moaning. Yeah. In a way, a it good blows brownie is my so mind special. every time. It is salty. <laughs> it is like, it's almost like savory. Yeah. I believe it's, no, it's not paleo. But it's gluten-free and it's vegan. You know, not that I'm vegan. Everyone has these things called del- like delicious brownies. Oh, yeah. They come in the. It's yeah. really special. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, yeah, but that brownie to me has been really at the front of my mind. Yeah. Um, do you feel hot today? I feel like I'm I'm sweating in my coat. I actually feel I... hot because I feel like I looked hot in that video you just posted. I feel better than I did yesterday, which is the most we can hope for right now. I feel oh, hot. Great. Than I did. Oh cool. Cool. What? what? No, I'm just you know I sweating. Sm- I'm just like sweating. Yeah. Like, well this you can tell this doesn't breathe. Yeah, but that's like, I know, but it looks good. But that's so... what leather is. Fuck. Is it yeah. an actual snake? No, this is no. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> that would be like twenty five hundred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you feel hot today? I do because I looked hot in that video you posted. I knew you'd like it. Yeah. What about you? It's the power of the jacket and the sunglasses. I'm actually dirty. Haven't showered today. My hair feels flat. Oh, your you know, hair could never be flat. It could never be flat. I actually but, think but, could never be flat. But you know, I am sweating up the new jacket, which is stressful. But do you ever get like a blowout? 
Never. You never curious? I got a blowout in the eighth grade yeah. for my best friend's bat mitzvah. Uh-huh. Traumatized her as a result. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I, looked, so I didn't look like myself. That, <laughs> that is like... <laughs> When my dad got a buzz. Oh, that's scary. I cried. Yeah, I of sobbed. I famously, <laughs> I famously cried when my mom got a haircut when I was four. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. It makes complete sobbed. sense. Yeah. It's terrifying. Yeah. You know, should I, my new thing is, should I put rosemary oil on my scalp? What's, wrong, what's going on with the scalp? I want my hair to grow really long, and it won't. Oh, really? But then I think my hair just told me that's just how some people are. Do you think I should, my hair should be longer than this on the side? <laughs> oh maybe yeah it's like too short on that the could sides. be cute yeah well I it's just like yes. so short on the sides this is i like wouldn't a... have ever like thought like oh but you've been but, thinking it this whole time but now that i look at you yeah, looking that's at like, that well this is like probably like a three i this prefer is a, that this is, this is a 0.5 i think even just a one god i'm such a, like <laughs> like that's a screen like technology is unbelievable is this done. a screen isn't it is that a screen is this a screen yeah, yeah. isn't that gorgeous <laughs> it is i'd kind of like to be like i don't have a tv in my bedroom uh-huh. And it's a kind of a constant kind of like, yeah. it's kind of a philosophical well, issue. Yeah. But something like this, I go, you know, you go into people's houses yeah. that make like upwards of three mil a year. They've got yeah. one of these on the wall and it's like a Renoir. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. I know. <laughs> I know. No, but, but also I look and I go, kind of fun. Do you know what doesn't make you feel in your power that I've relapsed on that what? I wasn't doing for like the months of September and October? Like in bed watching tv on your laptop mm, that yeah. cozy you're never gonna feel powerful that way no no it's cozy but oh you're yeah. saying it's bad well, it's like you're lying and it's when like it's on tilted yeah. yeah it's just like no, you just by don't the way, feel like you're a millionaire it's really not respectful to yourself or the work that you're ingesting I have to yeah say, totally and i don't think i've ever not done that i fell asleep to maestro last night but have you watched any of that? No, maestro no. i keep saying <laughs> I was like the Spanish word for teacher. I keep saying my intro. <laughs> I, um, Have you watched this? No, I yeah, want to. It's, it's not for me. Talk I'm... about something else I auditioned for. <laughs> <laughs> went to get you. What did you think? I, well, I was out eight minutes in. Why? Well, the beginnings it gets better. The beginnings bad, hated. Well, the filmmaking. I mean, it's amazing when you watch something that is a movie. Yeah, and, and they're going. <laughs> We're a movie. I know. And God bless, because we need movies. I mean, you know that we're watching a movie. But it's but it's hysterical. No? I it's haven't... horrible. Like, like it's, it's wild. Yeah, well, especially because, first of all, I would die for Carrie Mulligan. I'm obsessed with her. But her laughing at Bradley Cooper, like, during the fall... I haven't even mo- gotten there yet, honey. Oh, I haven't even gotten there. I was early. I was out. I was out. Wait, I'm sorry. You, were, you actually didn't watch it. <laughs> I have to. I have to go. Yes, we gotta go. Okay, and that is. And oh, here's uh, final segment. Are you mad at us? <laughs> no. Opposite. Are you? It can't mad? be. Are Opposite. You mad at me? Never. There was a reason I once wondered, but okay. Whatever. Maestra. <laughs> and we're gonna be mad at you. All right. And um, get, tickets so Kate, get tickets to Kate, everyone. Get tickets to Kate. Get tickets to Kate. And go online and get tickets to Kate. Google or go, it. You uh, can figure go it out. in brick and mortar and get tickets to Kate. Yeah. Bye, Pat. Bye. I love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun in there with the doc- P doctor. Kate, thank oh you so God. much for joining us. Um, we still on? Hi. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, are we still on? From the sisters. Oh, yeah, what oh, sisters oh Here, are, you saw me shut down? No, we're just both obsessed with you and we're so grateful that you came on. Oh my God, it's so fun. Love it really you. is long overdue. And um, now we're off. And head gun podcast. I don't know. <laughs> we we, we went up to our side. That was a HeadGum Podcast.